So the Super Bowl wasn't that long ago, and when you know what, I didn't watch it. You know what, I just don't care about sports, so I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but one of the things about the Super Bowl is the movie trailers. Well, but I didn't even watch it to see the trailers, because I, in my head, thought about it and was like, you know what, who cares, because by tomorrow they'll all be on the internet. They'll be on YouTube or IMDb or something, and I can see them then. And I was right, but also, quick thing, the Super Bowl, those trailers, that just... That seems so stupid. It's like, okay, we want to make a lot of money on this movie that's going to be a huge blockbuster, so we're going to put our trailer on the Super Bowl. It's going to become a big movie. It'll be popular. Super Bowl commercials are the biggest things ever. But that means we got to hand over the Super Bowl, like the NFL or whatever. Like, here's a billion dollars. All right, now play a trailer for our movie that's about, like, 40 seconds. Does that not jive to anyone else? Or is it just me that thinks that sounds ridiculously stupid? Captain America the Winter Soldier comes out in like May. Marvel, okay, first off, they're not willing to pay Chris Evans more than like three million for the Avengers. But they'll pay how much money to get 40 seconds of Captain America up at the Super Bowl? Who cares about the Super Bowl? If they're gonna want to watch the movie, they'll see the trailer regardless. They'll go on the internet and see it. You're catering to the masses that are too stupid to put it together that you go on the internet to see a trailer. Because like 40 seconds at the Super Bowl, that's nothing. You'd see practically the same thing on TV. Like you're watching Breaking Bad and a commercial comes out. I'm like, well, there's 20 seconds for something. Where the internet, I can go right now, get like a three minute trailer for The Winter Soldier, which is twice as good. So I'm gonna talk kind of about both, but more if I'm talking about something you're like, I didn't see that in the trailer. I'm probably talking about the longer one that's on the internet. Okay, so that's a tiny rant, but yeah, I'm just saying the NFL or whoever it is that gets that money to play the trailer, you don't deserve it. People that do that, come on, don't be dumb. So first off, I'll talk about Transformers 4 uh, Age of Extinction. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Michael Bay, what does he do? Explosions and mindless action, and I enjoy some of it. Bad Boys, was that his first movie even? I don't know. I, I might have the unpopular opinion of not exactly liking. I think that's not a very good movie. That's just me. However, I like the second one, which is out of the two, the one that more people like. That's the worst one. Okay. The Rock. That's a really good movie. The Island was pretty neat, I thought. The original Transformers and Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon. The original Transformers, I thought, was a good enough movie. Like, it's a good movie. It's fine. It's not smart. And number three was a good action movie, but it was incredibly stupid. The second one was god-awful. That was one of the worst movies ever. Put it up there next to Die Hard 5 and Batman and Robin. It, it was so bad. The jokes, okay. Yeah, Transformers. It's kind of mostly for kids, but adults can watch it. So, you're sitting there with your kid, and suddenly the Transformers got, like, giant balls. On a 50-foot screen, your kid's looking at uh, Transformers balls. Good job. So, basically, before he destroys the Ninja Turtles, he's going to do another bad Transformers movie. And I'm just assuming from the trailer, okay? You got Mark Wahlberg. I like Mark Wahlberg. He's an incredibly likable actor. This, I just, I'm pretty sure he's going to be running around, Hey Optimus, kick that guy in the face. Come on, we got to get out of here. Come on, we got to get out of here. Is that a good Mark Wahlberg impression? I don't know. But it's just him and two other people. I, they look like terrible actors. I'm sorry. And it was a short trailer, okay? So I, I could be misjudging horribly. But they don't seem like good actors. They seem kind of bland in a bad way. And it's going to be just... Mark Wahlberg and the two other people running around with the Transformers, and they got, like, Optimus Prime with a giant sword riding a dinosaur. It's just, I don't feel this is going to be good. I think it's going to be crappy. And yet, Ninja Turtles, I mentioned that. I, I still think that's going to be just bad. Next up, we've got The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Have they redeemed themselves? They're getting there, okay? They're getting there. The first one. I'm gonna do a re-review of that. I'll be uh, the Amazing Spider-Man revisited. I'll do that. That'll be a video. You'll see up eventually. But uh, this new trailer, this this was like a three-minute, almost four-minute trailer. I'm excited now. Okay, um, it felt kind of familiar because like Spider-Man swinging and he kind of saves Electro, Jamie Fox, and he's like, "You're my eyes on the street" or whatever. And so Electro suddenly gets all obsessed. He's like. I'm, I'm his best friend or something, I don't know. And then he just goes nuts and then he's going to turn on Spider-Man when Spider-Man can't remember who he is. Because, uh, yeah, he's mentally damaged or something and he kind of doesn't understand. Spider-Man probably meets like a hundred people an hour or something. He can't remember everyone's name. So Electro becomes the villain and he can... Like, is he going to be like Buddy from 
uh, The Incredibles, where he turns into, uh, what the hell is the villain in The Incredibles name? I don't know. Is it going to be like The Incredibles, where he looks up to the hero and then he turns into the villain? Obviously, they kind of gave it away, but like Jamie Foxx as Electro, I think as Matt Dillon, he looks pretty good. That's the name, right? Or is, I thought he called him Max, but the character in the comics was always Matt Dillon. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he said Max, but anyway, as that character, he looks good, and then as Electro, he looks pretty threatening. Uh, Rhino, same, just a little bit of him, and Green Goblin, uh, what was that, David Bowie on a glider? I mean, that doesn't look too great. The story, you're, they're setting up more of this, like, untold story of Spider-Man, and if I go in that theater and I expect to see more of the story as like, well, we're teasing more and more about his past and his parents, but instead we bogged it down with more of the Rhino, Electro, Green Goblin and all that and you don't find out anything. I will never go see another one of these Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. I don't care how good Spider-Man 3 looks. If it's got Venom or something, I don't give a shit. Because Sony and all them roped me in last time and I thought I was going to get something different. I didn't. And I'm pissed off. And if they do that again this time, I will never go back. Never. I won't pay to see it. It's on TV or something, maybe. I won't rent it, I won't pay to watch it. Like, if I was going to see it in the theater, someone would have to pay for me to watch it, because I wouldn't. But hopefully it turns out for the best. You never know, Emma Stone might get killed or something. They're kind of, I don't know about teasing as much as just putting it out there. You know Gwen Stacy got killed, and Green Goblin killed her, and Green Goblin this, and so is Gwen Stacy. So, you know, maybe. It kind of feels like they're putting it out there. I kind of doubt they would, but you know what, if they do, good, because then Emma Stone could move on, and we can see her in good movies again, like Easy A, stuff like that. I'd love to see Emma Stone do some cool, different movies again, because ever since she was in Amazing Spider-Man, we haven't seen her in a movie, except for Movie 43, but that's not a real movie. That is dog shit smeared on a camera that had words to it, and there's movement, but it's not a movie, those aren't actors, those are people that were blackmailed into a movie, and yeah. So I'm hoping for the best. This trailer makes it look pretty cool. The action looks great. It seems pretty epic. His greatest battle, this one kind of just really showed, yeah, this seems pretty tough. And they're like dropping, there's the vulture's wings, there's Doc Ock's claws. You saw that last time too. Claws? No, they're his arms or tentacles. My bad. The kind of weird thing though is they show Electro's kind of origin and it's him falling into a tank full of eels. That seems so violent and gruesome. I don't know. That's not how he got it in the comic. He was just fixing an electrical pole and he got zapped. So, if they're going to change it, whatever. It's not like I really care. If it's cool, it's cool and it looks neat. And finally, the one I'm actually extremely excited about. There's nothing negative, really, I can think to say about it. Captain America the Winter Soldier. I am pumped for this movie. The first Captain America, I will eventually do a review before this one comes out. But, like, to spoil it slightly, I was a little underwhelmed with the first. But I like Chris Evans as Captain America, and I'm excited to see him do this. Looks like he's really settled into the role of Captain America, the first movie. I mean, he had it pretty much then. Avengers, he just improved on it. He's not Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. He's Captain America, and you buy it. He looks like he can kick your ass, and I love the new suit. I mean, Avengers, it looked kind of like a wetsuit. This one It's back to the first movie, more of a tactical army thing that has a Captain America flourish added to it. But whatever, you got Robert Redford as a shady sort of government guy. I'm excited that someone like Robert Redford's in one of these movies. Okay, people take him real serious now because you got Robert Redford in here. I mean, yeah, like Sam Jackson and a couple other really good actors, Anthony Hopkins are in it. That's kind of like when you think Morgan Freeman's in The Dark Knight and Batman Begins in Dark Knight Rise. It's like, that's a certain caliber, cal uh, caliber of actor that you wouldn't think would be in a comic book movie, and they are. So that's neat. Uh, the only real negative thing is a, to do with Scarlett Johansson, and it's not her per se, it's just the hair, okay? I don't know. With her hair straight, it looks odd to me. I think she looks a lot better with kind of wavy hair or something. That's a minor thing. Can you, Okay, Captain America the Winter Soldier. My only negative is her hair is not wavy. It's flat. So what? Come on, it's Scarlett Johansson. You, you really got to try hard to find something negative about that woman. Whew. Um, Anthony Mackie is the Falcon. That looks really cool. The Winter Soldier himself looks like a badass. The action on this looks great. It looks like a very serious and kind of spy-ish superhero movie where it's going to be a lot of... I wouldn't say exactly James Bond, 
but there's going to be spy stuff in it, and it's not just going to be Captain America running around having montages of punching Hitler in the face, so that'll be interesting. And also from the trailer, I doubt they'll kill him, but it looks like Nick Fury gets his ass whooped, and I'm happy to see that. Not that I have a problem with Nick Fury or Sam Jackson, it's just kind of... Get him out of the movie so he's not a main focus, because honestly... People make such a big deal. He shows up at the end of Iron Man 1, you're intrigued. By the time he gets to the Avengers, he's kind of the head guy that tells him what to do. It's cool. At this point, I'm a little burned out at Nick Fury. It's like, okay, beat him up and take him out of the movie or something. But that's beside the point. Why am I getting so negative about <laughs> Nick Fury? He's awesome. So yeah, those are all the new trailers I want to talk about. There's a couple other ones, but I honestly forgot what they are by this point. Uh, if I look them up, that'll be too much. Too much. Don't want to do it. If you like these reviews, like or subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what you thought of these trailers. And uh, tell me what you think about the Super Bowl trailer opinion I have. Like, do you think that uh, people should be paying millions or whatever to get 40 seconds of their movie put up at the Super Bowl? I think it's retarded. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.